Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Uh, oh, oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, wow, we are absolutely booking it. Like, I don't even think the game can keep up. It's trying to load in the islands. That's how fast we're moving, and it, it can hardly keep up at all. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we're going to be checking out some awesome creations. Now, you're probably looking at what you're seeing on screen and going, wait, Komodo, was there an update to Stormworks? Did they add a new island, or did they change something? Well, no. I actually didn't even know this was possible. I knew about the bases and some of the base locations, but apparently... I don't know if this was a, maybe it was an update, but we can now build on like some of these normal islands. I've seen stuff from a racetrack. You've got this new base here, which by the way, this is where we always start our Stormworks uh, episodes. Uh, this is the creative base, except for all of this out here is user made. And this can all be spawned with a mission. It's getting absolutely insane what people are doing. Which I don't think this was like an update to be able to build on this island, but I think it's similar to when we uh, spawned in like the Mega Sub and stuff like that. Uh, it's these custom missions that you can spawn in and you can receive items like what you're seeing here. So as always, all the uh, links are down in the description if you want to download anything that you see in this episode here today. Uh, we will be coming back with some multiplayer next. I did uh, last episode, we did some plane crashes and some sinking ship survival. Today we'll be morally focused on maybe some missions and the uh, creative mode here. And then we will be doing multiplayer next. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, comment below. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. So real quick, if you want this base yourself, I've actually got a couple of these. These are spawnable missions. So we can go to, over to here, we go to our workshop missions, and you'll see down here this operations platform, the operations base. It's kind of like what I was saying earlier where we spawned in the big nuclear sub where it's in several parts, but if you do the mission, it puts it together. This is the same thing except for this is like, these are big structures. This is bigger than what was available on those other platforms that were in the update. Like, this is huge. And you can set vehicles on here ahead of time instead of having to actually take them over. So check this out. This one's already got a, a Coast Guard helicopter ready to go. Uh, you've got like a new little building up here. Almost looks like a almost like an air traffic control tower. Uh, I don't think that's what it is, though. Maybe like a lighthouse or something? Uh, it's spinning really fast. Uh, you've got extra boat docks down here. you got some small ones. You've got a huge dock that's been added over here. So you can definitely pull in some big ships over here. This looks like a... Uh, is this a weather station? Is that actually accurate? Like, is it showing the... Hold on. What if we were to kick the wind up real quick? I don't know if this is a thing or not. Oh, let's just kick this up real quick. Look at that. Oh, wait, what? Weather alert. Oh, that is cool. All right, so you've got that. This looks to be a little... Is this a living quarters over here? Yes, it is. So you got like a nice little living quarters. Now, this isn't the only base we're going to check out today. There's actually a platform, which is like an oil platform base. And it looks absolutely amazing. So we'll be checking that out. But this is cool. It's got a, uh, a big built-in crane. Uh, say you've got a cargo ship or something. You would be loading cargo on and off the ship. And to me, this is just amazing because... The old creative island, it just had that one opening back there to spawn boats. Now you have actual places to park those boats and say you're going in and out on missions. Like, you can have all the stuff here and ready to go. Wow, this is incredible. It even added some buoys out in the water. Uh, do all those light up? Hold on, let's change it to night real quick. I'm curious. Let's go and turn that wind off and let's go night. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, it's actually fairly well lit. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not like really bright, but you would definitely be able to see everything. That is way too awesome. I could probably just sit here and play with the bases all day. So we've got this. Hold on, let's get the time right. There we go. So yeah, you've got the big dock here. You've got all the... Uh, I, I keep thinking, for some reason, it looks like a monorail cart, but it's actually, the I guess, your living quarters. So you got a weather station here. We can walk down on... Oop, don't fall in the water. Just fell in the water. Wait, what is this? Uh, grab handle to pick up. Is this... 
This just looks like a little dock. Uh, how do we get back? Oh, here we go. Let's try to figure out how we got back on that. So, you've got a little weather station. It's cool because all these are, like, man-made. These walls and stuff, they're the same materials you would build a ship out of. Which I've shown a little bit of the, uh, the base building before. So this, uh, looks like another weather station down there. You've got plenty of parking spots, uh, for the boats. Now, I still think you have to spawn the boats in the normal spawn area, since I don't think they allow for custom spawn areas. As far as, uh, say you want to just go into the workbench and grab or build a boat. But still, it's, uh, pretty amazing. Alright, I'm probably going to say awesome a lot this episode because there is, like, legitimately a lot of cool stuff. So this is uh, Operations Base number one. Now, there is an Operations Platform that we're going to spawn, which that is a absolutely gorgeous looking helicopter. I would say we we're going to take the helicopter, but I'm going to despawn this one, which in theory it's going to make the uh, helicopter disappear. And then we're going to go spawn the other one over uh, where it spawns. Now, check this out. So, we're going to go ahead and kill this mission, so watch what happens. We go boom, we go here, and we go remove mission. Well, oh, I did that too quick. I was trying to see if I could see everything disappear. Uh, it's kind of cool when you spawn the mission in. Everything kind of slowly appears. So, let's go despawn, confirm, there it goes. Boom, it's all gone. Now, you're back to the original creative dock. Alright, so the operations platform, which this is the one I'm really excited about because I've always thought, man, if we could have a, a base in the middle of the ocean, it would be really cool. So we're going to spawn the platform, which let's go ahead and locate said platform. There we go. And we're going to take a boat out there. We're going to check out a creation here, which I think you guys are going to dig this creation because I think it's probably one of the fastest boats in the game. Alright, here we go. We've got our boat. Oh, actually, this is not very big, but... This is supposedly like the fastest boat in the game, and the game knows it. It started playing the epic music here, so uh, let's hop up here. Actually, how do we get into this thing? All right, let's climb down in the hatch here. Uh, I'm assuming this closes. I don't see a button. All right, well, I guess we'll keep it open. Oh, this is just like a passenger boat. All right, so this is just a... Oh, there's a rough seas mode, okay. Yeah, this is just a fast boat. That's all this is, so we're going to go boom... It's got our speed up there, so we're gonna turn on the engine and close the hatch, and I guess, uh oh. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, so how many kilometers away? It's 3.8 kilometers. Let's see how fast this boat is. Here we go. Ooh! <laughs> Dude! Dude, that's way too good, hon. Huh? Does it turn? <laughs> okay, it turns like a tank, which is completely fine. Actually, no, it turns fairly good for its speed. There it goes. Okay, you just gotta let off just a little bit. Oh my. Okay, how fast are we gonna make it? Let's see, it's still probably about four kilometers away. Let's just gun it here. Let's see how fast we can make it out to the operations platform. Let's see, speed, current speed, is that 80 miles per hour? Or 80 knots, I guess? Uh, oh, oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, wow, we are absolutely booking it. Like, I don't even think the game can keep up. It's trying to load in the islands. That's how fast we're moving, and it, it can hardly keep up at all. I wouldn't be surprised if an island just appears in front of us here. Wait, am I getting uh, alerts? Why would you be getting alerts in something like this? I don't know. This is ridiculous, though. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to try this in rough seas. Hold on. Let's, uh... Oh, I think the operations platform's loading in. Let's, uh... Let's kick up the wind real quick. Oh, we're already here. What the heck? Uh oh, hold on. Rough seas mode. Okay, rough seas mode. There we go. Oh, ooh, the waves are really big out here. This is cool. Oh, there's our base. <laughs> no. No. Okay. All right. Rough seas was not a good idea. It is official. Wow, these are some big waves. All right. Well, I guess we can... What do we need to do with this? I guess we need to just get out. Oh, boy. Oh, I need to shut the engines off to open the hatch. Wait, the hatch is going to flood? Okay, here we go. Alright. Well, we're going to leave this parked out here for a moment. Alright, so this is our operations platform. Can we unhighlight this mission? Because all those markers uh, are admittedly a little annoying. Let's go ahead and uh, turn off the highlights. Actually, let's just toggle active. Oh, it just disappeared. There it goes. Oh, no, it's still all lit up. It's kind of weird. Oh, wow. So, this thing's equipped with several features. It's got helipads on it. I should really probably... Let's just turn down this weather real quick. This is too much. There we go. 
All right, let's get up on the actual base itself. This is cool. Could you imagine being on a base? Like, we are... Yeah, the nearest island, I can see one over there, but we are really far away from everything. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I guess it's like an oil platform. You got another ladder there. Maybe it's like a little bit of a dock. Uh, this over here, this is actually a boat lift. So, if you get the correct boat... Which, why is it highlighting some of this stuff? I don't know what it's actually trying to tell me here. It's trying to tell me something. But yeah, this is a, uh, a boat lift. So we could go go down. Look at that. It's going to lower it down. So you would drive your boat up onto this, come up on the platform, and actually be able to lift it up. So that thing will be ready to go. And that is a crazy looking radar dish. All right, what do we got over here? So we got a, uh, here's your first aid station. So we can go into here. Uh, very cool. Okay, so this has got multiple levels. Let's go and close. Oh, actually, the doors are on timers, I guess. They close themselves. All right. Oh, wow. This is by the same creator, by the way. So you got another one of these uh, these weather stations here. This is a cool view, though. This is like a, a debrief room, and you've got the ocean right there. Uh, unlock emergency hatch. Oh, it's got an emergency hatch, I guess, to drop out the bottom. That's cool. Uh, infirmary... Oh, that lady scared me. Oh. Okay, I didn't know there was people aboard. <laughs> wow. That creeped me out. Okay, you know what, lady? You uh, you kind of scare me. Right, let's go and turn that off. Do we have lights in here? Yeah, we do. Okay, those are already on. I want to see this base at night because I imagine it looks pretty cool. All right, so let's go out here. Ooh, okay, that's another ladder. We want to go back in. There we go. Let's go out here. All right, so you've got that. You got the lift. You got another one of those towers, which would be really uh, probably pretty useful for this area. We can go up here. This should be a. Uh, that looks like a little air conditioning units. Uh, you got a helipad up here. This is cool. All right, let's see what this looks like at night. Here we go. Boom. Ooh, wow. Oh, let's get a uh, photo mode view real quick. That is pretty cool. So let's unpause it. Wow, you can see the uh, the medic bay down there. This is spectacular looking. Uh, did we miss a room? No, we didn't. Those are just a couple bedrooms back there. That is cool. Now, the only thing I really, really wish Stormworks would allow, and hopefully maybe it'll be a thing, is allow people to spawn the workbench. Because something like this, if you could spawn a workbench on it, you could spawn your boats out here instead of having to actually take them out here. Which, that to me is the only disadvantage to uh, these custom locations. Not unless it's assigned by the actual uh, Stormworks updates, which those uh, areas that I showed you a couple episodes ago, uh, those already have workbenches. These are all custom. Alright folks, we're about to make magic happen here. We're gonna go boom, do this, turn that off and go up. Oh, guess what? <laughs> we're out in the middle of the ocean now. <laughs> this is where our poor base was. Rip base. All right, so let's move on to something else. I think I kind of want to do a mission here today, and we need to grab another creation in order to do that. All right, here we go. We are equipped and ready to go on some missions. Now, you're looking at this craft here, and you're probably wondering what kind of Coast Guard craft this is. And this is an EHC, and that stands for Enclosed Helicopter Carrier. So I'm assuming you pick your favorite flavor here of helicopter, and you can load it into this craft. Uh, so we'll go back. Oh, this is kind of beautiful looking. So yeah, I think you uh, load your favorite helicopter up. Let's go look at the uh, the dimensions we're working with here. Ooh, this is actually... No, this is plenty big. So I'm assuming we're standing on probably what is the elevator, and then that floor above us here actually opens up. So... Let's do that first, and then we'll load up a helicopter and probably go on a, probably a custom mission here. And whoa, they have a, a really, really nice looking carpet here. And I don't understand why I can't get up off this ladder. Come on. There we go. All right, let's so, okay, it's Med Bay. Let's go see if we can find the bridge. All right, here we are up in the bridge. Huh, this might be something that uh, we can all use in multiplayer. Actually, I don't know, sometimes the, uh, the attaching of two objects together with the magnet multiplayer causes desync. I don't know if it's still an issue, but that might be something we could do at some point. So let's go ahead and turn everything on. Okay, that's an all stop. Interior lights. There's search lights. Uh oh, do we have to go fire up the engine somewhere? Ooh, I bet you there's an engine room somewhere that I missed. 
Oh boy, Han, I think I might have an idea as to where that is. Uh, possibly down in this hatch here. Oh, yep, this is definitely an engine room. Alright, let's go ahead and fire these bad boys up real quick. Uh, we're gonna move this thing a little ways out, and we're gonna spawn us in a helicopter and load it in there. I still need to figure out how the elevator works. Alright, so we're in a little bit of a uh, smaller helicopter here. That way we can ensure that we can load this thing up inside of the ship. So, let's go ahead. We need to get over the crane here. This is a... Uh, I probably should have pulled this out a little bit, but it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll totally get this. Alright, so let's go ahead and start lowering now. Put Komodo's, uh, his piloting skills into effect here. Oh, I hope you can fit. I believe it can. Oh, it's lower, lower, lower. Oh, that is... Uh, that's a tight squeeze there. I'm gonna go with the yes that it does fit. But I could be completely wrong. Hold on, let's... Can I roll it back a bit? Yeah, you know, I think this is gonna fit. We just need to go back a bit. And let's plant it down right about here. Now, don't mind the rotors. They do not have any sort of collisions on them. So they can go through walls and stuff. And it's perfectly fine. So let's do that. We got a break. Or is the brake already on? Alright, let's see if we can get this thing to connect here. Pad connector. Okay, it's sliding over. It's trying to slot itself in right now. Let's go ahead and put the, uh... Make it go... Actually, let's go down with the pad. Uh... Is that back gonna hook onto the wall, or...? Uh-oh. Oh, it's close. It is very close. Tell you what, the helicopter needs to be forward. Ooh, that is probably not the pad you wanted to connect on. Uh, except for that's the only connection. You know, this might be one you don't connect. Alright, so pads down. Let's go ahead, I think, over here. We want to click that. Okay, pad lights are on. Pad connector. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Alright, let's close these bay doors. And I guess I need to raise the cap up. And let's see if I can get these things to close. Alright, here they go. Alright, so it's going to close the helicopter up in the ship. And we are good to go here. All right, I gotta go close some doors, and we'll be ready to go. We're gonna spawn in a mission here. All right, so we have a new mission here. We have a drug dealer mission. Now, apparently, there's a boat that has criminals on it, and they're carrying some unwanted goods. And we need to actually go intercept the boat, and we'll need to, I guess, maybe arrest them and deliver the goods off to another location. All right, so what are we dealing with here? That is, where's the actual dealer boat? Is it this? It's 4.6 kilometers out. This is probably our delivery point. This must be the dealers out here. Okay, so... Oh boy, they have a lot of stuff on them. Alright, let's see if we can catch them. We'll get close and maybe we'll have to take the chopper out and intercept them. But we'll see how close, see if we're catching them in this uh, ship here. Alright, we're 1.7 kilometers out from our, uh, our dealers here. Now we've got to catch them, so my thought process is let's go ahead and throttle back here. Uh, we'll have the boat actually still moving, just very slowly. I think probably the best uh, best option is going to be to take the helicopter here. So let's go ahead and get ready to deploy it here. Man, we need to get one of the police boats out. Uh, maybe we'll see some more police missions in the future. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and start to raise the helicopter. It's a little crooked, but I must say that looks absolutely spectacular doing. All right, there it goes, and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and start uh, firing this thing up here. Oh, yeah. All right, so the uh, the boat is slowly moving towards the objective. I think it's going slow enough. By the time we intercept the, uh, the dealers here, the boat should be fairly close to the area. But we need to get out ahead here and see what we're dealing with, because I'm not sure if they're running or not. Like, I don't know if we need to get on the boat and actually catch it. And if it is, I don't know if the helicopter is the right choice or not. <laughs> There's so many markers. There's definitely a boat down there. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and tell them that the Coast Guard are here. Oh, I bet you they're still on the boat, aren't they? All right. Yep, they're not moving. You guys seriously think you're going to get away with, uh, with doing that? They need some sort of pursuit AI in here. That would be pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and stabilize. There's our ship. I would say our ship's going to intercept him, but I think it's actually going to shoot bomb. All right. Can we, uh, real quick, Han, 
I almost feel like I need to park. You know, can I park my helicopter on their boat? This is probably an extremely, extremely bad idea, but oh well. Let's get close. Alright, and I want to be touching that way I can still get into the helicopter here. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up the side here. Got to make some rest. Alright, people. I'm going to have to ask you to uh, keep the boat and park here and don't make any sudden movements or you might get shot. Oh, boy. No telling what's in these things. Uh, oh, there goes our ship. Alright, so apparently I gotta load you people up, so you can go ahead and follow me, and we're gonna jump into the bird here. Follow me. And we cannot take these packages. Where's my helicopter at? Did it go back around? Uh, what? On, it's not at the bottom. Wait, what? Where did my helicopter go? I can hear it. Oh! Oh, are you kidding me? It floated up. All right, well, you know what? All right, back on the boat. We're taking the boat, okay? Should have known that auto hover was going to make it take off. I've gotten away with that before. All right, people, we've had a change of plans. I seemingly have lost my uh, my helicopter here, so you guys just stay aboard here. We are going to be taking your, uh, or we're going to be commandeering your boat over to my other boat. Yeah, so it might have been pointless for me to take out the helicopter, wasn't it? I want to say there's a ladder on the back side of this boat that I'm going to need to catch, but I've got to confirm that. Where's my helicopter at? Oh, still in the air. Oh, boy. All right, is there a ladder on the back side of my boat? Yes, there is, thankfully. All right, so we're going to pull this thing up over here. We're going to need to ride alongside it for a second. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't want to get this to get hit by the boat. All right, that's good. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Hop off this. All right, swim over here. This is going to be a matter of timing here. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's going to be hard to catch. This is why you should never leave your boat and drive whenever you're uh, walking away from it. Uh, we're going to have to stop our boat. Uh oh, uh oh, this might work. Okay, this might be good enough to stop it. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Sorry, people. Oh, and I gotta get on my boat. I just gotta get to the ladder. Oh, this is gonna be hard to catch. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, come on, I'm catching it. Oh, I can't believe I'm swimming as fast as the boat. Uh, we kinda had to use their boat as a little prop. Uh oh, I might not catch this. Uh oh, it's getting faster. Oh, right, come on, come on. Oh, I need to cut this thing off. Oh, this is bad. Folks, this might be the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in Stormworks. I can just barely keep up with the boat. I can't make it to the ladder. And now the boat that I was commandeering is stuck to the front of the uh, this boat. And my helicopter's in the air and I can't get it either. Are you kidding me? Uh, my luck's not very good, is it? Well, that was a, that was a job well done by the Coast Guard there. Got a helicopter in the air. I got a boat that's leaving me. And I'm out here in the middle of the ocean. Well, I guess at least I got to show you guys the creation and kind of give you guys an idea of what we were going to do there. I didn't really think that one through. Unfortunately, I've lost my boat. Well, we, uh, we checked out some cool creations here today. Everything went well until this last portion. Uh, I want to say, no, it's not stopping. It's, it's going. So we're probably gonna have to call the Coast Guard and tell them uh, we lost a boat, we lost the, the dealer boat, and we lost a helicopter. I'm probably getting fired after this, but it's okay. I had fun today. I had a whole lot of fun. But anyways, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Really wanted to show you guys those bases off, but I also wanted to check out that uh, little carrier there. That's a really neat concept with the, uh, the little loading bay for the helicopter. Thought it was uh, pretty awesome. Definitely a ship you can take on missions. Just be sure to, uh, to kill the throttle if you're going to exit the ship. Uh, that's probably a good idea. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Multiplayer should be coming up next. And we will see you guys next time.